Glory to God. Supernatural season is here. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. Supernatural season is my inheritance because I dwell in a place called Christ, where Christ bequeaths life in abundance, where the supernatural is simply natural. In this place, God's hand is phenomenal. In this place, faith is a regular currency. In this place, the life we have is eternal and God gives untold supernatural supply. In this domain, we walk by faith, not sight. In this environment, we live like the Superman. We walk by the Spirit, not by power or might. We do the impossible, defy gravity, walk on water. In this season, God opens the heavens and rains manna and he vitalizes a mortal body with supernatural health. God fights our battles, becomes a victorious banner, sustains us through thick and thin with supernatural strength. In this season, every Goliath that rears his head is felled because I have donned the Davidic Holy Ghost mantle. In this day, I draw living water from salvation's well. In this day, I can do all things through Christ, my strength. This is a day when God opens the rock and gives me water. In this day, my jar of oil and bean of flour do not fail. I use my valley of Baca as a place of spring going higher and higher and higher. I go from glory to glory, faith to faith, and from strength to strength. It is a time of my distinction, like Daniel granted supernatural wisdom. God gives me unusual insight into the mysteries of this kingdom. And I flourish with relish, bringing forth fruits in my old age, becoming more relevant and current, tasting like vintage wine. On this day, I speak to things and they respond and obey. Just like Joshua spoke to the sun and moon and they obeyed. This is my supernatural season where dry bones shall leave, dead bodies shall rise, dead dreams shall leave, dead businesses and ideas shall leave. There shall be inventions, innovations and creativity galore. That which was impossible shall be made possible. Every hurdle I'll bulldoze, every barrier I'll dismantle. Huh. As a saw on eagle's wings, carried aloft by adverse wind currents. What is a death knell to other birds is music to me, advantage to me, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, this is a day of my supernatural knowledge when God gives me knowledge that surpasses every other knowledge. I join the company of the Josephs, yes, who use adversity for prosperity. Yes, why? I am the seed of Abraham. One with the great I am. The greater one lives in me. I have his DNA. I am a new creation. Born from above. Born the head and not the tail. Born to glorify God, my maker. 
and my God. Ha! Born a master of every circumstance. Never to fail. Born to mount up to surmount mountains. Make them plains. This is a day of incredible prize. A time of supernatural ability. In this day, I do great exploits with my sling and stone like David. On this day, the walls of Jericho fall down flat. As I praise my God, and every alliance against me crumble and stumble and are humbled. And despite great famine, I sow and reap a hundredfold return like Isaac. This is a season where despite my age, I become fruitful like Abraham and Sarah in their old age. And God remembers me like he did Rebecca, like he did Rachel, like he did Elizabeth, like he did Hannah. Yes, God remembers me like Mordecai was remembered, like Noah was remembered, like Abraham was remembered, like Joseph was remembered. Yeah, this is the day where every fiery furnace I'm thrown into refines me, beautifies me, purifies me, increases me, introduces me to greater glory, causes me to smell like rose and radiate the glory of God. And my faith in Him rises and it causes believers to praise his name and acknowledge him, saying, truly, your God, he is God, and surrender to him. This is a day to run through troops and leap over walls because it is my supernatural season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, this is my supernatural season. The day of my inheritance, because I dwell in a place called Christ, where Christ bequeaths life in abundance, where the supernatural is simply natural. In this place, God's hand is phenomenal. In this place, faith is a regular currency. In this place, the life we have is eternal, and God gives untold supernatural supply. In this domain, we walk by faith and not sight. In this environment, we live like the Superman. We walk by the Spirit, not by power or might. We do the impossible, defy gravity, walk on water. In this season, God opens the heavens and rains manna, and He vitalizes our mortal bodies with supernatural health. God fights our battles, becomes our victorious banner, sustains us through thick and thin with supernatural strength. In this season, every Goliath that rears its head is felled because I have donned the Davidic Holy Ghost mantle. In this day, I draw living water from salvation's well. In this day, I can do all things through Christ, my strength. In this day, when God opens the rock and gives me water, it is a day where my jar of oil and being a flower do not fail. I use, yes, my valley of Baca as a place of spring, going higher and higher and higher. I go from glory to glory faith to faith and from strength to strength it is a time of my distinction like Daniel granted supernatural wisdom God gives me unusual insights into the mysteries of his kingdom and I flourish with relish bringing forth fruit even in my old age becoming more relevant and current tasting like vintage wine on this day I speak to things and they respond and obey. 
just like Joshua spoke to the sun and moon and they obeyed. This is my supernatural season where dry bones shall live, dead bodies shall rise, dead dreams shall live, dead businesses and ideas shall live. There shall be inventions, innovations and creativity galore. That which was impossible shall be made possible. Every hurdle will be bulldozed. Every barrier will be dismantled as a soar on eagle's wings, carried aloft by adverse wind currents. What is a death knell to other birds is music to me, advantage to me by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, this is a day of supernatural knowledge when God gives me knowledge that surpasses every other knowledge. I join the company of the Josephs who use adversity for prosperity. Why? I'm a seed of Abraham. One with the greater I am. The greater one lives in me. I have his DNA. I am a new creation. Born from above. Born the head and not the tail. Born to glorify my maker and my God. Born a master of every circumstance. Never to fail. Born to mount up, to surmount mountains and make them plains. This is a day of incredible prowess, a time of supernatural ability. In this day I do great exploits with my sling and stone like David. On this day the walls of Jericho fall down flat as I praise my God. And every alliance is against me crumble and stumble and are humbled. And despite great famine, I sow and reap a hundredfold return like Isaac. This is a season where despite my age I become fruitful like Abraham and Sarah. And God remembers me like he did Rebecca, Rachel, Elizabeth and Hannah. God remembers me like Mordecai was remembered, like Noah was remembered, like Abraham was remembered, like Joseph was remembered. This is the day where every fiery furnace I'm thrown into refines me, beautifies me, purifies me, increases me, introduces me to greater glory, causes me to smell like rose and radiate the glory of God. And my faith in Him causes unbelievers to praise Him and acknowledge Him, saying, truly, your God, He is God, and surrender to Him. This is a day to run through troops and leap over walls because it is my supernatural season. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, I thank you for your goodness, for your love, for the power of your spirit, for your superabundant grace. Thank you that you're always there. Thank you that you can be reliable. Thank you that you are faithful. Thank you that you're good in all your ways. The God of the supernatural, I bless your holy name. I give you glory, honor, and praise for who you are, the pre-existent one, the all-sufficient one. Thank you, Lord.